Hello, welcome back on my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to evaluate a new plugin that uses AI for digitizing. It's called the Bunting Labs AI Vectorizer plugin. Let's see what it can do. I'll install the plugin, but before we're going to check it out, I click here on homepage, which you should always do when you install a plugin, because it will give you some more information. And website looks great with nice examples of what it can do. It also has a frequently asked questions section and there's some installation instructions and it looks really simple. So uh, let's just give it a try. And for the test we're going to use the Mount Marcy topographical map that we also use in our courses and the book CGIs for hydrological application. The plugin has added a new icon to my toolbar. But before we can start using it, I need to create a new uh, vector layer. And I'm going to create a geo package. Call it Mount Marcy, that area here. And I'll start with rivers. And as a geometry type, I choose a line string. I choose the projection of this map. Let's also add an attribute with the name of the river and add it to the fields list and click OK. Now I toggle on the editing and I can use this icon now. There's a little introduction here. So I need to uh, accept the terms of service because it's going to send data to a server. And I need an account. So I'm going to type here my email address and the service is free with access to 2000 completions uh, per month. So here I use my email address and click create account. Then I receive uh, an email that I need to uh, verify my account. And after verifying the account, I click, I've clicked the link. And just wait a little bit because it will then uh, get you started. You'll get this pop-up with uh, six steps. Load a raster layer to digitize, create a new shapefile layer, toggle to editing mode, click the icon of this plugin and start tracing and uh, hold down the shift key uh, to cut the tracing. So let's click get started. Although the instructions were mentioning shapefile, we'll try it on our geo packet. So I click this icon to start digitizing. And let's start with this river. I go from upstream to downstream and after two clicks it already connects to the internet and completes my uh, line faster than I could do. So this really looks promising. So far so good, but here it takes a wrong junction. When I hold the shift button, I can go back where it uh, was on the right path and give it a few hints and then it will continue. Sometimes you need to wait a bit, but then uh, it will finish the line. Now this is the first line. Click right to complete it. And uh, let's uh, change the color a bit so it's clearer. And then we'll do some more tests. Let's use this blue line. So here you see what we've digitized. I'm going to create a new geo package layer for lakes. I call the table name lakes and I choose here from geometry type that it's polygon and I choose the projection of the map and also there an attribute with the name of the lake. I choose to add it as a new layer to our geo package. Let's toggle on editing mode, zoom in a bit, and click on the icon of the plugin and start digitizing the lake. And there it goes. It all looks good, but it gets more complicated. So here it takes a wrong junction. So I guess I need to correct here a bit more than with the, the rivers because it's quite a complicated shape. So with shift I can always go back and then continue from there, give it a few hints and it will continue. So together with AI, AI assisted, I can uh, digitize this lake in an easier way than if I would do it completely manually. Now let's try it on an easier lake. A 
takes to grid, took the wrong junction. So I'm going to help a bit past uh, the grid line. And there it goes. Just need to help it sometimes. Now let's try some contour lines. I create a new geo package layer in the same database. I call it contours. The line string could also be polygons. Use the same projection and an attribute set which is a decimal number. Add it to the field list and add it as a new layer. And uh, let's start. Let's start with the 700 meter line. Toggle on editing mode, click the icon of the plugin and give a few points. There it goes. And it seems that it works better if you kind of pull it over the line and it goes very fast. You see that this one works very nicely. My conclusion is that this is a really great plugin that helps you tracing uh, vectors in a very easy and fast way. When it gets difficult you have the chance to correct the algorithm, but uh, it really speeds up the digitization process. Mm -hmm.